Senator Ted Cruz has announced the introduction of a constitutional amendment that would limit the terms for senators and representatives to respectively two and three terms. In unrelated but definitely related news, Senator Ted Cruz has announced that he will seek a third term in 2024. They're not even trying to pretend to be consistent anymore. Now, I personally don't believe in term limits for lawmakers because I believe our system already has a mechanism that limits terms. It's called the elections. However, Cruz says that he's running basically because other lawmakers are running, so why shouldn't he? However, he's also saying that he's trying to enact this constitutional amendment to limit terms because he wants to combat what he calls lifelong lawmakers who are controlled by special interest groups. Now, if that were the case, the first thing that he should do is call himself out for having been in the Senate for 10 years, 12 years by the time this current term runs out. And you want to talk about being controlled by special interest groups for Ted Cruz? Just consider the fact that Goldman Sachs has been one of Ted Cruz's largest contributors since his first term back in 2012. And speaking of interest, there's a conflict of interest considering that Ted Cruz's wife is a vice president for Goldman Sachs. And in his financial disclosure form originally in 2012, he stated her income with Goldman Sachs as more than $1,000. Uh, here's what I think. Politicians, former politicians, can and do influence lawmaking every day, whether or not they're sitting at an assembly. We have examples everywhere around us. What we need in the United States are not term limits. Those are not going to resolve anything. What we need is a fundamental change in campaign contribution laws. And as importantly, if not most importantly, a new culture of electors who can look at somebody like that who has done nothing for the last decade, if not abandon his constituents when the going got tough, and elect somebody else.